How many? How many people? Thirteen fifty-two. Thirteen hundred and fifty-two people. Yes. Thirteen fifty-two or sixty-two. Sorry, we don't want them to exit out the back into the street. These are just too many. Well, we get everybody to in there though, all, and we can we can contain that. Yeah. There's an exit to go to the street right there. Right, but nothing here though. Get everybody in and hold it. I'm gonna go inside and make an assessment. Get everybody inside. It'd be good. Inside, inside, inside. 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 You'll be fine. Inside. You'll be fine. Inside. We're gonna get you guys out as soon as we can. Go inside. 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 Hurry up, please. Hurry up. Okay, we're the last ones in. That's our plan, is to keep everyone here. Everybody here, we're going to protect this place okay, right okay. here. Just keep that door shut, hold that door. Inside, he wants to be outside the door. Inside. Okay. Inside. Okay. Come in. Come through. Yes. 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 The one suspect down. Do not let anybody in or out. I don't care if somebody's knocking, I don't give a shit. Whatever you guys are doing over here. You gotta switch out, if you gotta talk, whatever it is real quick. One person commit to watching the door, okay? You are our exit points. Oh, we got movement on this door. We got movement on door, Sarge. Give me a rifle up. We got one right here. He's a Okay. Take his spot. Take his spot. Is there anybody else? What did you get? Someone tried opening the door, then walked. It only happened once. Okay. It seemed like he walked away. Shut those lights off. Shut those lights off. Somebody just tried the door. That's all we know. Somebody just tried the door. There are people still walking around the casino. Hey guys, one of my officers heard somebody in here say that they have a gun. That is fine. Okay. What I need you to do, if you do have a firearm, do not pull that out. You understand what we're dealing with, and you understand how quickly we are going to deal with that as we see a situation. Do not pull out a gun. We got this. There's nobody going to come in here and hurt you guys. I know there's people that got to use the restroom as they came out. We're going to accommodate that. But we gotta do it safe, this is what we're gonna do. Right now it's 12 o'clock. Anybody that needs to use the restroom, I got guys out there that are covering to make sure we're okay and we can use it safely. 12 10, let's be back here. Alright, we've got like a half this place going. If you can hold it, we ask that you do hold it. You don't need to be outside of this place for an extended period of time, guys. Hey, let's stop the line right here. We got too many people. Pretty good, put them once they're out. I know, you're just gonna run down the boulevard? Right. At least they're safe here, you know. Yeah, I need everybody to come back in here right now. Everybody inside, order them. Do not be running. Get in here right now. Anybody outside, start working. Get back in. Go inside and shut the door. I wish you'd tell us what's going on. Okay, so they said somebody, uh, fourth floor Mandalay Bay. We're not certain of that, but that's what we're getting reports of. Um, they got strike teams going up there right now. Check. Okay. But that's why I had everybody come back in. So we're going to go back to just suck it in and hold them for a minute. We uh, turned up the lights halfway so you guys can see. Just bear with us. We're still working to make sure everything's uh, safe for you. If anybody has any medical issues or anything like that, please let us know. Uh, if anybody's dehydrated, please come up here. We'll make sure you get taken care of. Uh, in the meantime, just uh, sit here. We're going to try and get you out of here as soon as we can, as soon as it's safe for you guys to leave. Okay? Thank you. How many, how many people? 1,352. 1,352 people? Yes. 1,352 or 62. Sarge, we don't want them to exit out the back into the street. These are just too many. 
getting Well, we get everybody to f in there at all, and we can we can contain that. We can hold the kids to come out. Yeah. There's an exit to go to the street right there. Right, but nothing here, though. Get everybody in and hold it. I'm going to go inside and make an assessment. Get everybody inside. It'll be good. Inside, inside, inside. Come on. Inside, you'll be fine. We're gonna get you guys out as soon as we can. Go inside, inside, inside. Hurry up, please, hurry up. Okay, we're the last ones in. That's our plan is to keep everyone here. Everybody here, we're gonna protect this place right here. Just keep that door shut, hold that door. Inside, he wants to be outside the door. Inside. Okay. Inside. Okay. Come in, come through. Yes. Yes. One suspect down. Do not let anybody in around. I don't care if somebody's knocking, I don't give a shit. Whatever you guys are doing over here. If you gotta switch out, if you gotta talk, whatever it is real quick. One person permit to watch in the door. Okay? You are our exit points. Well, we got movement on this door. We got movement on door, Sarge. Give me a rifle up. We got one right here. He's a Okay. Take his spot. Take his spot. Is there anybody else? No. What did you get? Someone tried opening the door, then walked. It only happened once. Okay. It seemed like he walked away. Shut those lights off. Shut those lights off. Somebody just tried the door. That's all we know. Somebody just tried the door. There are people still walking around the casino. Hey guys, one of my officers heard somebody in here say that they have a gun. That is fine. Okay. What I need you to do, if you do have a firearm, do not pull that out. You understand what we're dealing with, and you understand how quickly we are going to deal with that as we see a situation. Do not pull out a gun. We got this. There's nobody going to come in here and hurt you guys. I know there's people that got to use the restrooms they came out. We're going to accommodate that. But we got to do it safely, so that's what we're going to do. Right now, it's 12 o'clock. Anybody who needs to use the restroom, i got guys out there that are covering to make sure we're okay and we can use it safely. 12 to 10. Let's be back. All right. We've got, like, a half this place going. If you can hold it, we ask that you do hold it. You don't need to be outside of this place for extended period of time, guys. Hey, let's stop the lines right here. we got too many people. Bring it, put them once they're out. I know. You're just going to run down the boulevard? Right. At least they're safe here, you know. Yeah, I need everybody to come back in here right now. Everybody inside, orderly, do not be running. Get in here right now. Anybody outside, start working. Back in. Go inside and shut the door. I wish you'd tell us what's going on. Okay, so they said somebody, uh, fourth floor Mandalay Bay. They're not certain of that, but that's what we're getting reports of. Um, they got strike teams going up there right now checking. Okay. But that's why I had everybody come back in. So we're going to go back to just suck it in and hold them for a minute. We uh, turned up the lights halfway so you guys can see. Just bear with us. We're still working to make sure everything's uh, safe for you. If anybody has any medical issues or anything like that, please let us know. Uh, if anybody's dehydrated, please come up here. We'll make sure you get taken care of. Uh, in the meantime, just uh, sit here. We're going to try and get you out of here as soon as we can, as soon as it's safe for you guys to leave. Okay? Thank you. Response, we determined there was a shooter on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. Um, officers responded to that location and engaged the suspect at that location. He is dead currently. Uh, so there is no conspiracy between the FBI, between LVMPD and the MGM. Nobody is attempting to hide anything reference this investigation. The dynamics and the size of this investigation requires us to go through voluminous amounts of information in order to draw an accurate picture. My intent, like I stated earlier, is to give you information as I know it, unverified, to calm the public.
Welcome to the End Times News Report. This week I've been presenting testimony from a group of witnesses that I interviewed who had been staying at the Delano Hotel on the night of the Las Vegas shooting. I contacted four people in particular who saw activity in a section of property between the Delano and Mandalay Bay hotels. Sandwiched between these two hotels is the two-story Mandalay Bay Casino and Shopping Complex. These witnesses were near one another at the time that one or more gunshots rang out somewhere past the Michael Jackson Theater and around the corner between the box office and the casino. These witnesses saw men dressed all in black in full tactical gear carrying weapons. At least one gunshot was heard by all four witnesses. One witness believes he heard three distinct gunshots and an audio waveform analysis has been done that suggests that there may have been more shots than that. Prior to this gunshot, or gunshots, multiple witnesses smelled the distinct odor of gunpowder inside the Delano Hotel, not far from the elevator bank. And all of this happened after another witness had reported seeing gunmen out on Las Vegas Boulevard firing guns near the concert venue several minutes earlier. In episode 50, I explained to you that these witnesses feared for their lives and asked that I not reveal their names. I explained that I was going to help hide their identities even further by conflating their individual testimonies into composite characters. Now in this video, I'm going to present you with significant testimony from additional witnesses, testimony that confirms much of what you have heard from these past sources. Together, all of this testimony provides additional evidence that there were multiple gunmen operating inside the Mandalay Bay and Delano complexes on the night of the shooting, well beyond the time that we're told Stephen Paddock had committed suicide. You will hear testimony from an eyewitness that the media was lying to the public about the number of gunmen. You'll hear testimony that the police continued hunting for a gunman on the fourth floor of the Mandalay Bay for at least two hours after the shots toward the concert venue had ceased. You will conclude that there is ample reason to believe that the Las Vegas shooting was a much bigger and more complex operation than what Sheriff Lombardo and his FBI handler, Aaron Rouse, have told us. I've taken video clips from two news sources, both of whom are employees in that Mandalay Bay shopping center. I have taken their various live streams and edited them into linear timelines for you to follow. Out of respect for their privacy, I won't give you their names in this video, but I do want to express gratitude to them for recording as much as they did so that the rest of us can find answers to what really happened on October 1st. For simplicity, I will refer to the male employee as source number seven and the female employee as source number eight. Let's begin. In these first clips, source number seven is at work and we are introduced to what's going on immediately after they first get word that there is a shooter in the Mandalay Bay. All right, so there's a shooting here at my restaurant inside Mandalay Bay, and there's people like, there's fucking people like running everywhere. There's people looking for like their lives because I mean they're afraid they're gonna get shot. Or... All right, this is live right now at Mandalay Bay. We don't really know what's going on. We're locking down right now though. We're not gonna let any fucking gunmen get in here. Can you tell Kylie to make some... I will tell... What, what do you mean? At least make some kind of announcement. Alright. So we are going to sort this out right now. Kylie! Can you make some sort of announcement to everybody inside the pub? So we're sorting this out right now. Excuse me! Excuse me! If we can have your attention for one second! Hey everybody, two seconds, yeah? Okay. There is an active shooter in Mandalay Bay, so shut the door and just lock everything. Everyone stay calm. I'll let you know what we hear after. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna shut the doors for a little bit. 
Excuse us. Please listen. Everybody, please can I get your attention? All right. Looks like there's some kind of emergency on the floor of the casino right now. Everybody's running. It's just for everybody's safety. We're going to close the doors right now. Just everybody, just relax. All right. Um, until I get more news about what's going on. So we are sorting this out. We are trying to figure out what's going on. We don't really know. Uh, we locked the doors. We got everyone kind of freaking out. All my coworkers aren't really easy. It's pretty fucking trippy. Like someone might come in here and like kill us all. Now some time passes and while the guests and the employees are there in the restaurant listening to the news and getting updates, source number seven mentions his friend, source number eight. I'm gonna show you a clip here of source number eight. Pay attention closely to what she says. It's very important. She explains not only that the news is not reporting what is really going on, but she provides testimony that there is activity still going on more than two hours past the time that the shooting toward the concert venue had stopped, that there was still a lot of activity involving multiple gunmen. She knows a lot of this because she was watching footage from the uh, internal security cameras and also because she was listening to a police scanner, a scanner which at a later point was cut off so she couldn't monitor it anymore. We're like watching all this news, like we get, we're getting updates from like the craziest apps and like from just people, like just people that we don't even, even talk to. So we really appreciate that. Do you know shit is going down where you're at right now or did they move on? I know the lady, uh, our friend at the flip flop store said there was some stuff going on behind her shop. I don't know about that. She does. Um, but that's like down the hall a little bit. From what I know which is almost nothing. I know more than what people on the news are getting, which is nothing. Everybody is saying um, that, you know, one person is shot dead at Mandalay Bay. Yeah, but that was an hour ago, and the news is just now reporting it. I'm like, whatever you guys are seeing on the media is not what's going on down here, and it is unfortunately a very, very... It's much worse than what the media is letting you guys think. Like, being stuck inside of Mandalay Bay for two and a half hours, like, it is that bad. Like, more people than what they're saying on the news are injured. More shooters than what they're letting you guys know are there. There are more shooters. There are, you know, possible bomb threats. There's somebody in the bathroom at Luxor with a gun. I don't know if that is still happening, but the news is not reporting that. The news is, is trying to make this as calm as possible when it just absolutely isn't. Um, it's not. It's, it's worse than what people are seeing. Um, it's so much worse that they shut off my police scanner. I know someone said that their scanner is still working. Um, that's fine. But the news isn't reporting what's actually going on and it is a lot worse than what people are actually seeing. Um, I'm still locked in the Mandalay Bay and I am alone. Um, they're saying so many different things, but they're not saying everything. There are more shooters than what's being reported, or I don't know. Like, the things that I'm hearing have already been happened, like, an hour ago. It's now almost 1 o'clock. I'm still in the Mandalay Bay. I've heard that they're gonna be evacuating the Michael Jackson Theater, which is just, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, like, a yard or two away from me, like, not that far away. I don't know what's going on. Nobody said anything, but I do know that it is a lot worse than what people are saying and, and it's it's a lot worse. I hear yelling, I don't know what's going on, like, I'm kind of nervous. Um, but there is yelling, there's people outside, there's somebody running. You may have picked out among the many things that she mentioned was corroborating testimony about what I've told you in past episodes, uh, specifically about the man with a gun in the Luxor uh, hotel bathroom, as well as one or more bomb threats. She's hearing all of this on the police scanners. And like many of the other witnesses that we've heard throughout this series, she's upset. 
She's upset that neither law enforcement nor the media is talking about anything more than just that single gunman that they say was on the 32nd floor. She knows there's more. She can hear the police talking about it. She can see activity right outside of where she's at. Remember, she said that she is just around the corner from the, uh, or, or next to the Michael Jackson One Theater. She said she could see people running. She heard yelling. This is around the area where the activity that the others who were down at the Delano, this is around the area that they witnessed activity as well. So we have multiple witnesses from different places in this complex reporting on the same events. Next, we're going to see the evacuations begin. Everyone has been locked up up until this point, and now they're going to start to move people out. First, they remove the people who are not employees. So they're moving the people out in waves. First, they get the, uh, the guests and the people who are not working there in the complex. They get them out. There is later a second wave of extractions where they take people. Gradually, they're moving many of these people into the Michael Jackson Theater. I feel like I'm in a movie, kind of. This is so crazy. Like, it makes my heart hurt. Um, how someone could do this shit, I don't even know how people, multiple people could do this. Um, my coworker Alyssa, she said that they were going to be evacuating the Michael Jackson Theater. It had about a thousand people stuck inside of there. Um, luckily it's just me and the store, but I haven't heard anything from anybody. I just know that what you guys are seeing on the news is not what's actually happening. The things that you guys are hearing on the news, it's much worse than what you guys are, are hearing. It's, it's much worse. That it's so much worse. They shut off my police scanner. They, one minute I'm hearing about bombs, next minute somebody else with a gun. I don't know. I don't see any more people walking. I don't hear any more people in the hallways. So far, nobody has contacted my store, which the phone is with me. Um, I'm just waiting at this point. Um, it's one o'clock now. They're like evacuating people. Oh, okay. Just guess. So, we're doing evacuations. Just the good people of Las Vegas that don't work here get to leave. Okay, so I'm hearing there's evacuations. I, I'm not sure. Um, Everybody has to go? Alright, we're leaving. We are, we are getting out of here. I'm inside Mandalay Bay. I stepped out from the back, um, I hear people talking, so far, okay, oh my gosh, um, I'm fucking scared, okay, do I get out the back, do I get out the back or here? Yeah. Yeah. Leave the chopper as it, man. This is like the last of our things. Yeah, sure. come on, just, just go. Just go. Just go. Ma'am, ma'am, just go. We, just go. There's pop word. We're trying to get you to the safe place. So, I am being evacuated. Um, I don't know. I'm alone. I don't know. So far, everybody at Reraws is still there. Um, they wouldn't let me shut the door, so the door is open. Um, being evacuated now, we're going to the Michael Jackson Theater. Um, so far, nothing yet. I'm just trying to get downstairs. There's more SWAT teams. I don't know. I'm just going down the escalators. 
Um, the gate for my store is still open. Okay. Does that um, matter? I'm at flip flop shop. Let's go back. Straight over there to the right, all the way down. I don't know. I picked up on something that I'll share with you. It may be nothing, but it sounds to me as she comes down the escalator and is trying to explain that her shop was still unlocked, people in the background yell at her to go, to keep moving. To me, the sound of these people sounds very much like the sound of the yelling that I heard in the audio clip of those Delano witnesses who saw a SWAT team around the time that there were gunshots. So I'm going to play both of these, and you can listen and decide for yourself. To me, it sounds like it's the same group of people, but uh, you can judge for yourself. Oh. Oh. I'm at flip-flop shop. Let's go back. Oh. Now we're going to watch the evacuation of source number seven. As he comes down the escalator, what I want you to pay attention to is this is the same viewpoint, the same perspective uh, from that video that I showed you of the body laying on the ground face down. Uh, if, if you look in this video, I don't see any body there so uh, on the ground. And this is, again, a few hours after that video would have been shot. Uh, the earlier video. So if there was a body there previously, it doesn't appear to be there now. All right, so we're moving and we're going to the Michael Jackson Theater downstairs. There's a police officer and we have Officers. Yes, sir. That's where we're headed. Holy fuck, my heart is pounding. I'm like, I can't. Ooh, fuck. You know, like when you get like the shivers. I'm like, holy shit. That's how I feel right now. This place is fucking empty. There's nothing. There's. Oh, I cannot stop shivering. This fucking sucks. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. All right, so we are headed into the Michael Jackson Theater right now. Um, this is this is the casino. There's no one fucking here. There's absolutely nobody here. Whew. Nah, this is there's there's fucking nobody, man. Okay. All right, we're going into the Michael Jackson Theater. Thank you. And now we're in safe hands. We have friends around, we have Metro around. Thank you guys. We're making sure everything goes according to plan. Going up the stairs into the Michael Jackson Theater. There's like literally thousands of people. So there's like 2,000 people in there. There are hundreds and hundreds. Keep in mind that this is all happening well beyond, at least a few hours, beyond when Stephen Paddock is allegedly shot and uh, shoots himself. And yet, despite this being after one o'clock in the morning at least there is still talk circulating among the people because they can hear the police scanners around them there is still a manhunt for a shooter on the fourth floor of the hotel and this manhunt has been going on for a while they're looking for him they believe there's another shooter there they can't locate him you'll hear this a number of times as we move forward and this is further confirmed by the words of one police officer who tells the crowd, this is not over. This is still going on. 
It said fourth floor, and there's a person here on the fourth floor right now. Yes, sir. Um, hey, hey, hey. And we're here in the theater now. Now we're just. Baby, I'll follow you wherever you want to go. Pardon me, I'm so sorry. There's people here on the walls, there's people on the floor, there's. We're just trying to find a place to fucking hide from these pieces of shit. Is this where we're gonna stay? I don't know. Should we go down? Yeah, no, go find a seat. You guys gotta go sit down. Uh, we gotta find a seat somewhere, but there's like, there's no seats to be had. I think there's, there's literally like, look at all these people. Oh, you can't see shit. Yeah. You can't see anything in here. It's pitch fucking black. And after they move the people into the theater, there are hundreds if not thousands, depending on uh, which account you listen to. There are tons of people in this theater, and they have the lights out. They're locking the doors from the inside so they can't be opened from the outside. If what we're being told is true by Sheriff Lombardo, who at this point had already gone out and done that press conference with um, Aaron Rouse in the background. This is the one where Sheriff Lombardo is in the green jacket standing outside, and he says there have been multiple reports of many shooters. That is it. There is no one else. And yet his own officers inside are still telling the people this is not over. They're locking the doors. They're guarding them. They're having them hide in the dark. And uh, there are still police scanner chatter of the hunt for the person on the fourth floor. That tells us conclusively that Sheriff Lombardo was either one, an idiot who didn't know what was actually happening during the investigation, or two, he was lying. No, we're here. We're like my camera's like shaking. Can you go the door up top to be shut, please? We're at Mandalay Bay right now. Those locked from the outside, and we need those to be shut. We do not have the officers to go and stand by those doors. Keep them shut, please. Yeah. This is just out of control. Okay, you just heard the over the loudspeaker, the police saying to keep the doors shut. And now you're going to hear that from source number eight's cell phone footage as well. So listen to that. This is where we are syncing everything together. So I'm almost to the theater. see me it's so dark in here I don't even know how many people are actually watching but it's pretty fucking quiet in here it's pretty wild yeah everyone in uh, Manly Bay is everyone in Manly Bay is in the theater They, uh, 
they put us in here to quarantine us off because there's like at least 20 cops here that are guarding the doors and it's a feeling of dread in here. That's what it is. That's the only way to describe what's going on in here. It's just absolute dread. I don't know much about the situation besides that there's still, um, my friend tells me there's still an active one on floor four. You guys can't really see me, but now I'm like talking to you. Um, they cleared the fourth floor. I guess they're still searching for him. And one person's dead, um, the bad guys. And I don't know. I can't really think straight, to be honest with you. <laughs> this just sucks. It's, that's, that's all I got to say. I think I'm going to get off now if my broadcast is getting that interrupted. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on what happens and where we're at and when we get home. I just want to pause momentarily to poke my finger in the eye of the Wall Street Journal and the rest of the media publications that called me fake news, who called me a conspiracy theorist in that first week after the shooting. Why? Because I was suggesting that there was evidence that there may have been a shooter on the fourth floor of the Mandalay Bay. They all said this was fake news, conspiracy theory, and it was justification for why they need to crack down on alternative media. In fact, the video in which I talked about the, the uh, evidence of a shooter on the fourth floor, YouTube had deleted that and they gave me a community strike, even though it had two and a half million views and outranked every news publication out there, including CNN, MSNBC, The Wall Street Journal, New York Times. Now don't you people feel stupid? Now that you see that there is ample evidence that the police, hours after Paddock was dead, that they were still hunting for a shooter on the fourth floor, whether he was there or not is irrelevant. They believed that there was a shooter there. Now don't you feel dumb for calling me fake news? Who's the fake news now? Well, at this point, the people in the theater are moved downstairs. Those that were upstairs are moved downstairs and they're allowed to use the restrooms. And you're going to see that source number seven and source number eight actually link up together and uh, find one another and, and talk about their experiences a bit. Um, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just it's becoming so... I don't even know, but this sucks. <laughs> I want to go to the bathroom, but there's like, there's this stupid line. Also, if anybody needs to be evacuated or know somebody who does, please reach out to either myself or uh, my boyfriend is an Uber and Lyft driver and he has been giving rides to anybody who needs one. Um, they're evacuating us via cat buses. Fucking buses, like where the fuck am I going? My cat, my cat, my car is upstairs, so I don't know. The line's pretty fucking crazy here. Yeah, let's check it. I just want to go home. All these people are just, we're on lockdown here, so. They won't let us go home. Yo, we're going to Thomas and Mac. That's what they said, yeah. We're, we're going, going to, to Thomas, Thomas and, Mac. and Mac. Why the fuck would I? I don't know. Holy They're shit. just trying to get us all on buses and get us out of the hotel. Um, like but then they end up back in the theater, and you are going to see something that is truly bizarre. You are going to see source number seven in a state of absolute terror. Why? Because the police unexpectedly ordered everyone in the theater to get down on the floor. Why? Because they believed that a shooter was in the area and the people's lives were in danger. Watch it for yourself. I don't know. Just stay down. Get up. 
Hey, it's okay. It is okay. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We need to get up. We need to get out of here. They just told us to get down. Everybody in the entire theater just got the fuck down on the floor. <sighs> Talk about a fucking heart attack. Let's go. It's okay, baby. Come on. Sorry about that. You're okay. So we're leaving. We don't know what just happened. Everyone in the entire place just got down. I know, baby. I know you don't. We're gonna get out of here. It's gonna be okay. Come on, baby. It's okay. Here, give me your purse. Give me your. Are you? Give me your stuff. Mommy, mommy. Mom. This way to the bus. <sighs> so yeah, that was really terrifying. Oh no. See, look at our man right here. He's ready to fuck shit up. Don't even worry about it. So we're almost, um, that's the exit. We're making sure everything is good to go. We're almost out of uh, Mandalay Bay. Uh, yeah, this door being open though. We're getting this sorted out. Yeah, it's pretty dark now, you can't really see much, but I'll update you guys if anything else crazy, like what just fucking happened, heavens. After this scare, the police then move the people out the side door of the theater, load them on buses, and transport them a good distance away from the area, despite the fact that many of these employees, or actually all of the employees, had their personal belongings, their cars, and so forth, there at the area. Nope, they take them all off. They want to get them away from the hotel. They're not treating just the 32nd floor as a crime scene. They're treating the entire complex, the uh, entire Mandalay Bay Hotel, the casino, the theaters, everything. What's most important is that you get the employees away from it. And that's very strange. That is, if we're to believe that the, tr the police actually thought that there was a shooter on the 32nd floor and nowhere else that he didn't do anything else. If that's the case, what was going on in the theater? What was that scare about? Well, I'll let you watch the last few moments here of them as they depart on the buses, and then we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, so now we're loading. We are walking to the, we finally made it. We're out, we're in, we're in the world. And uh, the cat buses that are, here to pick us up. Thank you guys for your service. We appreciate you. And we're headed to these shuttles now. We're going. Whew, fucking cold. And this is what we're doing. We're heading on to these messy buses. Heavy police presence. I like it. I like it. What are those called? Is it called strike? Strike? Strike teams? Oh, this guy's not heavy. I'm like shaking. I'm literally. <laughs> Thank you. They're on the bus now. So we're here, we're on the bus, we made it. We're leaving uh, the danger zone and everything's good, we're alive. So, so anybody that's watching, my phone's not working, but I'm safe, all right? Yeah, he's good to go. So our fucking box just stopped and we picked up a guy. And that's fucking weird, I think. 
I don't know what's happening. This dude is just standing there. <laughs> Alright, so we're safe and sound. We're in a, a, a car. Not my car. I'll get that tomorrow. Um, but my brother and my mom came through and we're safe and sound. My eyes look like they've seen better days. We are tired and ready to go home and sleep and yeah, we're an eventful night. Thanks again, Mom, for coming to get me. Of course, I love you and I'm glad you're safe. Yay. Um, sorry to all the families that, you know, lost somebody or someone just got hurt, but good, good vibes your way. Um, stay safe, Vegas. We're safe now, so. I hope that this video has been enlightening. It, uh, in my opinion, confirms a lot of the testimony, or at least it complements a lot of the testimony that we have already heard from other witnesses. Was this a real shooting? Was there shooting activity with live rounds? Or was this part of a drill? More and more, what we are seeing are two things. Number one, there is substantial evidence of activity involving gunmen in different locations around this complex. Not only the 32nd floor, but the 4th floor, and also down in the Mandalay Bay complex between the Delano and uh, the Kis Casino. The gunpowder is there. Many people have reported smelling that. People have reported seeing activity. We have audio and visual evidence of strange activity involving SWAT teams. We have seen that people were held for hours because the police believed that there were still active shooters. And this is, again, after Sheriff Lombardo had already gone out and told the public that it was all over, there was nothing else to see, the shooter was dead, and there are no others. And yet here is irrefutable proof that that story that he was giving is simply not true. The question is, were the shooters, the gunmen in this area, were they firing live rounds or were they firing blanks? Was this part of a drill that is the question. As always, this raises more questions. So, there is no conspiracy between the FBI, between LVMPD, and the MGM. Nobody is attempting to hide anything, reference this investigation. The dynamics and the size of this investigation requires us to go through voluminous amounts of information in order to draw an accurate picture. My attempt, like I stated earlier, is to give you the information as I know it, unverified, to calm the public.